may open up at four, 400 even. You? Definitely at 401 or 402 or something like that. Yeah. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've last made a video, but I just wanted to update you guys on these max out attempts when I was back home in March and uh, give you an update of what I'm doing right now as far as prepping for like next max outs or my goals right now. So this is 405 at around 163 pounds body weight and right here's a 430 squat attempt. And it was a fail, so uh, I did not get this up. But I, I saw the weaknesses in what I was doing, and I widened my squat stance. And I am have been working on like lower back stuff, and uh, pause squats. Uh, what is it? High bar, narrow stance, pause squats to keep my upper body from rounding, like it did right there. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past like three months, just addressing all those and hopefully hitting some big PRs after a ton of workout cycles. <clears throat> and my bench after this, this was a cut. So right now, right here in this footage in March, I was 165. And in January, New Year's, okay, New Year's, I was about 185 and in three months, I dropped about 22 pounds for a meet in April, and I don't think I'm going to do it like that anymore for future meets if I ever, uh, if I ever do cut again. I just get, I'm just going to do a mini cut and then just cut water after that because this cut took a lot out of me, and I'd rather be in a surplus for as long as possible in my late teen years and my all, most of my 20s. I just want to max out the gains that I can have during this uh, prime time for gains, if you want to call it that. But uh, this was deadlift attempts. Um, I wanted to go heavier for this, and I also did correct something for my deadlift. My deadlift my, is my strongest lift, but there are a lot of really, really bad, uh, not bad, but things I could change right away to make my deadlift better. I was pretty much really narrow in my deadlift so I widened my stance and widened my grip stance so in future workout videos you'll see the widened deadlift stance that I have and this was the meat and march right here what you're seeing and these were my squat attempts and what I learned from this meat is that during my cuts I retain squat and deadlift strength and lose a little bit of uh, bench strength because my squat and deadlift were about the same strength and I lost like five pounds on my bench probably and it just made me want to do a long bulking season and this meet was in April and I was 163 163 pounds at this meet and right now I'm 172 so I'm slowly slowly getting weight after this meet just doing a long lean bulk <laughs> So what you just saw was 512 and then I put down 530 but I wanted 567. I just made up my mind and I couldn't change it so I just walk up to the bar and I don't do it. So I saved strength for the 567, it was a big jump but this is how it went. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm probably going to do like a series or something for my road to 600 and the 600 bell lift so I'll look out for that. Andre's in there with us. Andre's in there with us.